So, you know, since we're not going to get an opponent anytime soon, I might as well just give a quick sample game of, like, how this works. Um, and the other thing that's confusing here, so you see the piece with the cross, that's the bishop. So it's rook, bishop, knight. Um, laser, king, queen. Let's see, is there a way I can demonstrate the powers of all the pieces in a shortest proof game? I'm going to set my, a challenge for myself here. Okay, well just for turn one, we're going to show off just like how the laser works. So, okay, I can apparently rotate this freely. My version of the game uh, I had forever ago, I don't think allowed me to do multiple rotations of the same piece. Maybe it did. But once you've rotated one piece, you're done rotating for the turn. And unfortunately, the game does not remember which piece you rotated, so if you give focus back to it and say, Oh no, I changed my mind. Too bad. I guess that's touch move in effect, but that ah, man, that's... Okay, so I'm just going to show what the laser does. Is that not the greatest thing ever? Is that not the greatest thing ever? Pew pew. Okay. And now it's Green's turn. Um... So, let's see, uh, yeah, let's do one of these, um, I'm gonna develop my knight, um, let's see, let's rotate his shield downward, he's gonna need that actually, um, I should know he won't. I've got a plan. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna look so cool. Um, so... Yeah, we're gonna develop the knight as well. Um, and here we push the pawn. And green... What's green gonna do? How can I make this look cool? Um, okay, yeah, here's something fun I could do with the queen. So the queen moves like a queen, obviously. Uh, okay. Um, trying to make this do all kinds of clever things, but I'm running out of cleverness at this point. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to set up an amazing combination. Um, so bear with me a little bit longer. see, how can I combo this? Oh, okay, I could stick, stick my bishop way out in harm's way here. That'll be fun. We're gonna rotate the knight and move it out. And I'm gonna put my bishop out here. And... Let's see, let's rotate this. What do I do? I suppose it doesn't matter much at this point. Um, and now we fire. So this is just an example of like how some of the major pieces in this game work. Um, so the laser got fired from... Oh, I can't move my cursor while this is here, but... Um, I can explain what happened here. So that laser fired from the uh, left laser, hit my pawn, hit my other pawn, hit my knight. Um, that's standing two rows down, three columns across. Um, which split the laser, going up and down. Um, the upward portion of that went off the board. 
downward portion reflected off of the pawn on the lower left corner, hitting the opponent's knight. Um, and the opponent's knight split the laser also. Downward, it hit the pawn, striking and exploding it. Um, and upward, hitting the queen. But since the queen is looking at the laser, the laser skips the queen and the piece beyond it. And then continues onto the knight beyond the um, the pawn there. Um, so that knight split the laser left and right. The rightmost portion hit the pawn, obviously, and the leftmost portion hit the bishop, which reflected it back into the knight, exploding the knight. So, yeah, this is basically how lasers work. It's a really cool game. Um, the one, well, there's two disadvantages to this. One, I guess it's only local play. Um, and two, there's no AI for it. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I guess those two things put together are why this game really, despite being a really well-designed game with cool graphics and sounds, um, I think that's why this game really never took off. It's just a... Uh, the only way you could play it is either against yourself or against another local player. Um, it's too bad. Because this is a really cool game in my opinion. 